Hello, hello. Okay, so it's kind of a weird hangout. Some of us are in the dark. Uh, not you, Wendy, though. You look perfect. Uh, you have the perfect lighting because that's what it's like in Australia when we have all... Yeah, we have all different uh, all all different time zones on this hangout, which is really cool. But on this hangout, you're gonna actually be witness to one of our power rituals, one of our one of our key uh, components to releasing the past, releasing our fears, releasing all the baggage, releasing all the doubt, releasing all the questions, and really allowing an open space an open space for us to create whatever future, whatever dream, whatever goal, whatever desire that we want. So we're outside, some of us are outside, uh, we're going to be <laughs> sharing this mm -hmm. ritual with you. Let me make sure I, I have mine, okay, I had to make sure I've got mine. Okay, so my name is Layla Black, if you didn't know that, you might be thinking who's this crazy girl in the backyard all, all bundled up because it's Canada, uh, but it's surprisingly warm. <laughs> I am a full-time work-at-home mom. I've been job-free for the last six years, and I'm nobody special. Uh, you know, I was a college dropout, living in the basement of a bar, playing in a band, covered in tattoos. I really didn't have a lot of options. But, but I knew, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm destined for something greater. I'm destined for something better than this telemarketing job. Uh, and I, I really found this this home business realm, and 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 have crafted it in a way to utilize the internet, to meet with these awesome ladies, to inspire people around the world, to do it virtually, which is really sweet, especially as a mom when uh, when you get to stay home. So we're doing this crazy, awesome four-week intensive, and one of our assignments is the What If Purge. So I want to pass it over to Cindy to share some of her insights. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you our team name. So our team name is Symbolic, Girls on Fire, and we're going to be showing you some fire. So don't go anywhere because you want to see things burn. Everybody loves to see things burn. I really do. I think it's a, uh, a little... <laughs> a little a little weird thing I got there going on. But yeah, so Cindy, come out here and share. You this is actually not your first time doing a what if purge. So how how has the the experience been and has it been maybe different? Wow, you know, I, I was actually very like like when we talked about it last night doing it, I was like, okay, you know, I've done this and you know you know, you know, you go through these things, and it was really interesting because you know we were on a hangout this afternoon, and I forgot which lady, but she was talking about how she actually stumbled upon us by accident, but it was no accident type of thing. Deborah, yeah, Deborah. And so, you know, because she felt like she know she knew things, you know, so she kind of stayed away. And so I was like, you know, I, I'm like, I I know this, I'm I'm familiar, with it. but I went to do it, I froze. It was really, it was very really strange, and then. I, you know, I did the breathing, took my deep breath, and I opened my eyes, and I just, like, started writing, and, and like, things just started coming in, and I was like, and, and it was like a, it was like a chain reaction, like, what if, you know, what if I fail, what if I can't do this, what if, what if my team, what if I can't support my team, and it just kept spiraling, one thing kept, like, dominoing me to think of the next thing, and it just... Before I know it, I went out of my lines. Not quite as much as you did, Layla. But I went out of my lines, and when I was done, it was like something like this. I was very excited to burn it. I actually wanted to like burn it right then. You know what I mean? Because like you feel like you get it out. You know what I mean? Like I felt like I wrote it, and I was like, oh, yeah, there's those things, you know. So. I was actually really lucky because right after I did that, I had to go, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, too. I didn't have to go. I, I chose to go because I'm a mom and I am able to do this. I went to see my son's wrestling meet. He wrestled varsity for the first time. Freshman. <laughs> and won. <laughs> woo -hoo! Anyway, so, um, but I was able to walk away from it, so it was really good. And then when I came home, I was like, yeah, the purge, you know, we're going to do it. So, And it was actually very funny because uh, I'm outside now, but before I was like upstairs in my room where it was nice and light. But I had this idea, Layla, Layla said, I'm going to go outside and burn. I thought, you know what? It's a really good idea. So I put on my coat, and here I am outside. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it outside. It's gonna I be awesome. Too. Yeah, I me too. Fire 
there. Like I think it's I, you know I love the flames. I like I, I, I get mesmerized by it. It's very I don't know. So yeah, they, there's a, there's an energy I, I, about fire. You know, uh, going back to some of the traditional teachings and our connection to fire and the flame and what it represents, and that's why we have the candle that we bring every week uh, because that flame is going to grow. And by the end of the four weeks, when you get to Terry's section, you're going to have this epic fire moment, which is just going to be awesome. But let's uh, let's keep going over to Wendy. Wendy, this was your first purge, so. <laughs> we have someone who's purged before and someone who's never purged at all. So what was your experience like with this? So never purged. I'm very neat with mine. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, so I'm like super organized and like, you know, everything has to be done like just right and planned out 20 times, pick the best <laughs> option. <laughs> so it's really hard for me to, you know, um, then go back and just be really raw because, yeah, my mind wants to process everything and really over-process stuff. Right. And then I filter stuff out, you know, and just tell, then you get to the bit like, show all the good bits about yourself, but hide everything yeah. else. Yeah, that's actually one of the really powerful things about the purge is that you just let, you let all those negative thoughts flow. And yeah. rather than analyzing every one and saying, okay, where did this come from? What, why yeah. is it there? You just keep going. And it's, it's almost like a... Uh, symbolic release of just going through it, allowing it to be there, but then moving on to the next thing and just literally like vomiting all over the paper. <laughs> Mine is pretty neat though. Uh, it's not that bad. It, it really is winding. And, and, and the whole exercise of, you know, poking the hole in it and looking through the world and having that perception of, you know, okay, well, I'm actually seeing the world through all of these fears of mine. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, a visual eye-opener, <laughs> so to speak. So what we're going to do, I don't know if V's on the line or if she can talk. I know she was driving, but she can witness this. Uh, because it's going to be epic. So uh, we cannot burn in Australia. There's this fire C-SPAN. Uh, no, absolutely no fires allowed. So Wendy, who's in Australia, is going to be tearing with veracity. But what I want, what I want you to do is, I, I don't know, Cindy, do you have your candle? I don't have my candle. I left it upstairs. I grabbed okay. it. I that's just put the lighter off of the table in the kitchen when I was coming down. That's that's okay. The uh, the the fire is there, and that's what's necessary. So come on, ladies, let's let's get our burn on. This is exciting. This is exciting stuff. Okay, let, let me get my. There we go. I'm really glad that I'm outside for this since my children are inside, <laughs> and I, I prefer for them. There we go. It's going up in flames. It's going, it's going. Oh my gosh. I'm getting nervous about this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, it feels good though. Oh my gosh. I was like, nah. I was like, you know what? Okay. That, that is definitely a good thing that I did that outside. You know what's really funny is. My I'm just like, no, here I am. I have to tell you, this is like hysterical. It's going to take me forever to learn this because I printed this out in like really nice sock paper, like little, like little box, and this sock paper is not wanting to burn, but I'm going to burn it, and then I'm going to, if I have to sit out here all night. Oh my gosh, did you see how fast mine went up, and it was giant, and like, it's just like, not, it's like, like barely covered in flames. Turn it up. Turn it the other way so the flame travels up. Well, and then it goes away. This is. You think I don't know how to burn? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so her what ifs are being really stubborn, and that's okay. Some are going to be stubborn, and they're going to want to hold on, and they're not going to want to burn away when you want them to burn away. But it's your persistence, and I know that Cindy will not give up. Until no, I won't give up, but I, am, I may go get a can my candle because it's going to be a lot easier than using this lighter. <laughs> right? Yeah, the candle really works well. That's why we have it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at... I'm looking at the pieces. These are the pieces, the remnants of my purge right here, the ashes of my purge. And just just to share a little bit um, 
about what it feels like to actually burn all of those negative thoughts and all of those fears. You know, I saw it in my hand, and a part of me was afraid, like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to catch on fire. <laughs> but then a part of me was like, no, you're not. There is no way that that tiny, flimsy little piece of paper with this, you know, with two seconds of burning time, apparently mine's faster, uh, <laughs> could ever actually harm you. You know, it's, all you need to do is just throw it away, and, and that's what I did at the very last moment. But it was that initial fear of like, oh, my God, it scared me, but I want to be present in it, and I want to hold on to it, and so I, I held on to it as long as I could, uh, but now it's ashes on the floor. So uh, so what? what a, uh, you haven't burned yours yet. But I think I really think Wendy that you should cut a video when you when you put all those all those little even if you you burn them I don't know I mean, tiny shards now so <laughs> insignificant <laughs> yeah so you'll have to cut a video and share this experience with yes! us uh, there goes Cindy see she's got it bye you little things you're going away I got you. <laughs> oh, yeah. She wasn't taking no for an answer. No, not a chance. I was like wanting to burn you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I'm you watching do... this burn. I have to tell you, it's a really, you know, like, just it's just not a piece of paper. You know, it really is cool as I'm watching it go in flames. It's actually kind of cool that yours is going so slowly because you really get to savor that moment of seeing it be engulfed in flames and disintegrated into nothing. It's really cool. It's just like I'm watching it go slowly. I was worried Layla's fur was going to catch on fire on her jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about my eyebrows and stuff. <laughs> there we go. Stick it burn, in it. baby, burn. burn. Yeah, if you're watching this and you're like, why are crazy ladies burning stuff on YouTube? What is this all about? <laughs> on the ground burning now. <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to put it down, but it's burning. Yeah, she had a moment. <laughs> Goodbye, what ifs. Goodbye, fear. Bye. Goodbye. They're gone. I see a few words and they're just going away. The last word that I'm seeing is believing. Believing. That was the last, that was the last word that I saw. It's and a message. Yes. Definitely a message. Woo! That felt so, great. Yeah, feels good. Feels awesome. And yeah, as I was saying, if you're watching this and you're like, why are these crazy ladies uh, <laughs> from around the world in all these weird time zones uh, burning stuff, <laughs> we are part of a four-week women's empowerment boot camp. And we really... We really want you to participate. Uh, we this we realize, you know, I, I kind of realized that there were so many women out there that we wanted to help, but we really wanted to keep this small, and we wanted to keep it personal. We wanted to keep that, uh, you know, that that engagement up so that we could really communicate and have some really powerful breakthroughs, which means that not everybody that wanted to get in got in and some people are, you know, wishing that they got in and, you know, already asking when is the next one. So if you're watching this and you want to get plugged in and you, you want to do awesome exercises like this with your accountability team, girls on fire, almost literally, uh, <laughs> then uh, make sure that you... You, you know, click the link or click a button on this page or wherever you're watching this hangout, uh, wherever you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be somewhere for you to get more information so that you can plug in and you won't miss our next Women's Boot Camp because Inner Power Intensive 2 is going to be coming and it's going to blow you away. So, ladies, uh, I appreciate you. Any, any last thoughts that you want to leave uh, on this What If Purge experience? I just say if you you guys should definitely do it, and if you don't know what we're talking about, you definitely should you be like, I, you you need to find out for January because I don't know. I feel really good, and and I feel that it would help a lot of other women feel really good too, and that's yeah. what that's, that's what this group is really about, and it's it's 
Yeah, we need that. We need more of that, right? You know, we need yeah. these moments where we can just, we can feel good. Uh, we can feel a release. There's so much pressures on us, so many worries and stresses and anxieties. When you can just let it go and just, you know, have this little euphoric moment of, you know what, that's destroyed. Uh, that, I've released that. And, and now I am so aware of it because I've experienced that with it. You know, I've had that experience with all my negative emotions, seeing them burst into flames and almost take out my eyebrows. Uh, you know, I've had that that connection with it, so it's it's something that I'm going to recognize. If any of those old fears, any of those what ifs pop up, uh, I I can now recognize them because I wrote them down and I I watched them burn away. So definitely some powerful exercises. This is just one. This is like the tip of the iceberg of some of the the visualization and the breakthrough sessions that we're going to be doing uh, and yes we are going to open it back up in January so make sure that you get plugged in and you don't miss out because it's going to be life-changing uh, if you decide that you're ready for your life to change that has to happen so ladies appreciate you peace out let's end this broadcast and uh, yeah burn baby burn my candle <laughs>